Hi guys, Random here, welcome back to another episode of the World of Warships tutorials. This is number 7, in which we're going to be looking at the different types of ammunition. Now, for this we're going to use the Myogi, which is the tier 4 Japanese battleship. There it is, looking very battly and very shippy. With a little plane on the back, oh so cute. Um, right, how best to describe this? There are two types of ammunition in this game. You have high explosive and you have armor piercing. Now, pretty much they do what they say on the tin. If you're shooting at something bigger than you, and it is markedly bigger than you, then you're better off using high explosive. The reason being is that although you won't get massive citadel hits, you do have the chance of causing fire, which will cause damage over time. Now, damage over time, if you've got a fairly rapid firing cruiser, could actually outweigh Citadel hits. Now, the Citadel, for those of you that don't know, uh, right, underneath the engines and the gun turrets, well, say underneath the engine, underneath the, uh, the chimneys, you've got the engine room. Underneath the gun turrets, you've got magazines. Now, they are the most heavily armoured part of the ship. If you are lucky enough to penetrate the armour, so say it was broadside and you hit it here, you have the chance of causing a citadel hit which will put big pain on your opponent. Same with the magazine, in fact with the magazines you've got the chance of causing detonation as well, um, so you could actually blow the ship up if you score a hit in just the right place. If you're fairly close up and you've got decent guns, aim for the side of the ship, just about the waterline. And you may be lucky, and you may get a Citadel hit, if you do that with armour piercing. If you do it with high explosive, you won't do a great deal of damage, because it will just bounce off. Metal ships are not that flammable. Wooden decks, however, and the infrastructure, very flammable. So. For high explosive, you need to be aiming at those. You can knock out gun turrets with high explosive, um, but generally what you're aiming for is fire damage. So if you're in a cruiser, if you're in a destroyer, um, that's what you want to be doing. If we look at the main battery here, you can see, as you look down, it says rate of fire, 180 degree turn time, maximum dispersion, HE shell. And then it says maximum HE shell damage is 5,700. That's if you get a really good hit. You've got a 25% chance of causing fire when you hit it. So theoretically, one in four shells should cause a fire. Yeah, but it's only a 25% chance per shell. Um, so you could shoot 100 and not cause a fire. Armour piercing shell maximum damage 10,000. Now that's a lot of damage. Uh, firing range is 18.6 on these guns. Now if you look at this it's 45,700 damage. That's a fully upgraded hull. Four and a half just over Citadel hits and this is dead. And that's a battleship with loads of hit points. So what I think we'll do is we'll jump into a game. Uh, we'll do We'll do a co-op, just because because I don't want to get into a game where there is stuff that is way over tier, um, otherwise I won't be able to show you the difference in types of ammunition. So we're in a battleship, uh, what have we got? We've got uh, South Carolina, Kawachi, then we've got Phoenix, St. Louis and Temeru Cruisers and a Wakataki Destroyer. Same on both sides. Um, if we hover over that, you can see my Myogi is bigger than your Myogi. Because <laughs> my one's upgraded and these are the bots. Um, so hopefully we'll get into this fairly shortly and we'll get a look at the Kawachi or the Phoenix. Because they will be good ones to show you uh, Citadel penetrations on. So hopefully we'll get into the game now. Here we go. So let's put some speed on and let's see where everyone is going 
we've got South Carolina there we can fire further than they can see we can fire out to sort of 17 18 kilometers which is nice I think it's 18.6 is the actual distance but uh, that's the edge of the map right so the only thing we don't really want to be firing um, armor piercing at which I'm going to load up now by pressing 2 and then pressing it again to make it load immediately uh, is the St. Louis see the Tenru I think we can get Citadel hits with, arm, uh, with high explosive on them because they're not very good so let's get ready the guns around hopefully we're not going to drive into anyone over here and we have a Myogi and a Phoenix. Uh, there's the Phoenix there. So what we're going to do is just put a shot down range. See how that lands. That's way ahead of him. He is actually making way, so that's fine. We'll we'll put a shot in there, and we got the Tenryu over here, which again we'll just put a shot into. Uh, you see the Phoenix is really sped up now which is cool that's fine games only just started we do have torpedo bombers from the enemies I don't know where they're going probably over to me I would think I don't know they're heading the other way can we see that South Carolina we can don't know if we can get a hit on him from here though but we'll try it Oh, those shots look good. Oh, we're getting some stuff thrown at us by the enemies over there. That's all right though. That's fine. Uh, got that destroyer coming in there. Oh, we shot a plane down. That's always good. So let's turn the boat round because we don't want to end up running into that cove because that really is not the place for a battleship. It's very tight in there. Uh, Minikaze is over there. If he gets too close, we'll start looking at uh, changing to high explosive. Because if you shoot him with armor piercing, you will just over penetrate because it's such a small boat. Right, you there. Don't run away, I want to shoot you. God, they're so, so pernickety, aren't they? Right, Quachi, over here. Let's try our luck on him. And we'll see if we can get a nice plunging fire shot through his deck. Oh, we've got decent damage there. That was about 10,000 in all. It's not so bad. Uh, we have the Myogi over here. Oh, look at that beautiful broadside. Load up guns. We need you. So let's try our luck on him and see how we do. Oh, that wakataki there. I have to get HE ready for the next round. Look at that, lovely Enemy citadel. 10,000 and with the other hit, 11,000 damage. Man, that's got to hurt him. Right, we need to start coming around. I know that, that may bring the guns off bearing a little bit, but that's a whack attacky, and I do not want to get torpedoed. And I think he's just launched because he's turning away. So we'll see if we can get a hit on him. We weren't so lucky, but uh, we're now loading up HE, and I expect to see torpedoes in the water fairly shortly. Uh, he's 7k away there. But he's not taking any damage yet. Six seconds on the guns. There we go, look. Let's see if we can give him a little love tap, shall we? Oh, go on, one of your hit. Nice. There we go, look. So we wrecked his day, and hopefully they will. Hopefully. No. He sped up too much, the swine. Okay. 
what we did manage to do though was uh, reset the base capture which is nice so he's coming around now he's going to be looking for a torpedo here I think or oh, I'm going for those tail shots because I want to knock out his engine seriously where are I there you are right he's 6k away now so I'm going to turn away because I know those torpedoes are coming. So, let's have a look here and see if we can get any guns to bear on him. We might be able to. There we go. Let's try that. Not getting lucky with those uh, shots on the destroyer, which is a bit of a pain but what can you do? He's coming around there. Come on, take a hit. Oh, seriously guns. I'm gonna pray to orange Jesus tonight. We really, we need a cruiser or something in there. I'm gonna have to go in, otherwise we are gonna lose this this game really quickly because the base is getting capped. Where are all my colleagues? They should be over here. Shooting this fool. Come on, reset the cap, reset the cap. Oh, reset the cap. No. And we've got another boat coming in now. This is no bueno. And he's laid smoke. Oh dear. Oh, somebody got a hit on him. Excellent. Right, Kawachi. Have a bit of HE, Kawachi. There we go. And that destroyer is going to be over here. I know it, he's hiding in that smoke. I need to be careful. I don't want to load AG, uh, AP up yet because he's still there. And he's probably launched torpedoes. So we took a hit there from the Kawachi, but let's see if we can get a hit on that Wakataki. We can. Nice. We got torps coming that way, so they're going to be his torps, which is fine. We do have another boat coming in, which is nice. Bit of company. We might finish him off a little bit quicker. There we go. Got a great hit on him there. Another one would be nice. There we go. We've sunk an enemy destroyer. Okay, so that's what you use high explosive for. Um, <laughs> if you can hit them. <laughs> if the number gods are being in kind and in your favour. Uh, we have got a phoenix going in for... Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if anybody is going in for that carrier. I guess we ought to head up that way. Um, we're not the fastest boat in the world, but we're, you know, knocking 28 knots, which isn't too bad. We do have this chap coming across our beam, which is not the best idea, Mr. Phoenix. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll come round this side of the island. I know he's got torpedo bombers up, I can see them. Um, we have got reasonable anti-air, it's not great on this. But once you've upgraded it, it's not the worst. We get some speed on. I mean, we could put our plane up as well. Why not? Launch the little plane. He acts like a, a bit of a fighter. Uh, so if you do get torpedo bombers or anyone coming in, um, it does give you a little bit of cover. There go our bullets. And because we got the scout up, we can shoot a little bit further. So we're using high explosive on him at the moment 
and we don't really need to but he's over that in island so that gives us the extra arc which is nice so it means we can get some hits on him we've got our torpedo bombers going in there they've dropped their little fishies as you can see he probably turn away we'll get some hits on him we'll set him on fire which is beautiful we like that uh, what I might do for a laugh is just if we can get another salvo in uh, we'll load up armor piercing for the next one um, and you can see the difference so let's see if we can hit him did that fire all guns or did it just fire two that just fired two oh well there we go so that, that was 941 damage not a massive amount bring our nose round a little bit because we uh, if you look at the mini map we're going to Walton Island. Scout is back, that's fine. It means our angle of gun drops very slightly. But we'll go for those elusive citadel shots. If we can hit him, every single one missed. That's just redonkulous game. But such is the way of RNG. Come on, load up. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Pow! Alright, let's see if we can get some hits on him. Okay, that one doesn't look too bad. It's not in a bad place. But I'm going to lead very slightly more. And we'll see. We've got torps in the water over there, but they only have a 2k range. So you see we're only getting a thousand damage with that. Which isn't terrible. But honestly, I'd like to see more. I'd like to see a nice citadel hit. Oh, 2000 on him there. Both shells hit. There we go. So your lightly armoured targets use high explosive, your heavily armoured ones, if you've got guns that are big enough or you're in a, a cruiser and you're close enough to a battleship then you've got a chance of getting those citadels. As you can see there, that was only one. Wasn't that impressive but it does demonstrate the difference between the two different types of ammunition. So we didn't do too badly, we've got 19 hits, shot down a plane, four uh, critical hits or incapacitations, we sunk one boat, uh, set one on fire, uh, got one citadel hit and defended the base four times. If we have a look at the team score, there we are sat at the top, as always, well not as always but you know, it, it's nice if it sounds like that. Um, and then we got detailed report there so we got 23,900 AP hits and 16,049 HE damage the HE was 11 hits the armor piercing was 9 so you can see just simple maths it does more damage um, you do have to hit people in the right spot though bear in mind 10,000 of that was one hit okay so when you get your eye in and your aim is much better um, it's well worth switching between the two different types of ammunition so I think this video has gone on now for oh, 20 minutes um, so I'm gonna leave it there uh, but just bear in mind that you do have that choice it won't always work if you're in one of these and you're shooting at one of them probably not you know if you are in a destroyer just stick to HE don't even bother changing to armor piercing because you won't pierce anything really um, you know your aim has to be so exact um, if you are in an aircraft carrier then yeah it doesn't really matter your dive bombers will do your dive bomber thing your torpedo bombers will do their torpedo bomber thing so you haven't really got to worry too much 
Out of the interest, all secondaries shoot high explosive. So if something is stupid enough to get near you and your secondary guns hit it, it has got a chance of burning, which is good. Okay, enough waffle. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope it's been some use. There are better guides out there, um, if you have a little search around. But I'm just trying to give people the basics, so uh, hopefully if you're new to the game, you'll uh, find that useful. Don't forget to give the video a like if you enjoyed it, give it a dislike if you didn't, and uh, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think and what you'd like to see next. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. But for now, guys, it's random. Signing off. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.